Hello everybody, welcome back to Smart Poker's YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a pot up. Um, this is going to be a, set, a series of videos. We did uh, the pot up before into these half gallons uh, and now we're going to take these same plants. We thought it would be nice to go ahead and continue the series here so you could follow through if you're so inclined. Uh, a little bit about these plants. They're dosy -si dose feminized photo periods from MSNL they sent us to grow out uh, so so far we've been working on building a main line uh, they've had two toppings and uh, the last topping was approximately three days ago and uh, so they've been growing very vigorously since then and you can see that if you was to look down on top of this pot uh, they're way out over the edges and uh, maybe I can show you some of these roots. So we're a little bit late on this one here, I think. Uh, it was a toss up between doing the pot up or the next toppings and toppings won out because I was tired that night. So, uh, you know, this is real life growing here and we have a life and all this other stuff. And so, you know, this is how it ends up. But uh, I'll go over a couple more tips here with you and maybe they'll help somebody out if you didn't watch the first one or if you're kind of newer to this. So here's the pot we're gonna go into. What we have inside here is one of these pots already in there and we packed this pot around it. And uh, what we'll be able to do now is just go ahead and pull this out. And you'll see that makes a perfect hole that's uh, all ready to go for the size pot that we have. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, one thing I would like to note is uh, if you look at this pot, there's a, it's hard, might be hard to see on the camera, but I did put a bunch of little extra holes in the bottom and sides. And the purpose for that is when I have this pot in here, I can now take, uh, it's an important step I think maybe some people don't remember to do or haven't been told. Um, and it seems to work great for us. Uh, pot ups sometimes can get a bad name. I think, you know, doing them wrong is why. So what I'll do is this, this plant in the current container has been getting an EC of 1.2. And uh, what, what's good to do is the cocoa in this pot is fresh cocoa that's been buffered and rinsed down to an EC of 200. So you don't want to take this plant from a 1.2 EC and go ahead and put it into a pot that has cocoa that is only a 0.2. Uh, even though you're going lower and not higher, uh, there's still a massive change and it can be shocking to the plant. So with that being said, uh, off to the side here, I have some nutrient water that... Uh, that uh, we uh, had mixed up and we're going to go ahead and put it on here. I already started putting some on here before and it's starting to run off, but I wanted to show everybody kind of how I do this. And then uh, I'll toss some gloves on here and we'll get busy. All right. So uh, I'll be right back in two seconds with some gloves. All right. Now that I got some gloves on, I can handle some root ball here. I did want to mention, um, not sure if I made it clear that, these plants were topped like three days ago, and they're going to go in here um, today. They're going to pot up today. I wanted to wait them a couple days so as not to put undue shock on the plant. Um, and then I also wanted to mention that after it's in here, I'll wait about three more days before I do the third topping and complete finishing uh, building our main line. And I think those are important to mention uh, as well as everything else. So now that I got my gloves, I'll go ahead and see if I can't finagle this thing out of our home here. Oh, I guess before I do that, I better take this pot out of there. Bear with me here. We don't edit. We're just flying by the seat of our pants. Um, she's pretty, she's pretty well pronounced for this size pot. So we'll see what we can get here. She feels uh, like she might slide out for us. As you can see in this pot. I have drilled with a Forstner bit about quarter or half inch holes around and on the top here is or on the bottom, I guess, as well. And uh, it's very important to do that if you're using plastic for um, uh, good aer aeration and good drainage. Um, that's the only way that this high frequency fertigation is really going to work out good for us. And uh, here she comes. And you'll see she has quite a beautiful root mass. Um, I wouldn't say she's root bound, but she's right there ready to go. 
uh, there's a couple lips on these pots up at the top and you can see she really rides heavy on those um, here's where we saw they were being root pruned out of the couple holes but uh, all in all I'm happy with that that'll be uh, vegging for another couple weeks the roots will spread out in our next pot here now I like to do this you have to uh, excuse me if this gets a little bar blurry crispy wannabe is excellent on the camera but I like to go into the hole quick and uh, that way, you know, we don't have any root ball falling apart on us. So on the count of three, I'll slide it in there. One, two, three. Just like so. And uh, felt like everything stayed together. I've done pot ups before where I felt the root ball collapse as I was going in. You can you can feel the instability of it or the instability, I guess, or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's not a great feeling. But, you know, if that was ever to happen on one of these videos, we would just go through it and show it in real time like it would be but uh this one went well uh we feel blessed to have these plants we encourage people to grow your medicine man and uh grow your own don't grow alone we want to give our shout outs now and with that saying we'll lead us right into a shout out to dr mj coco and all of our friends at the chat room and on the forums over there we say it in every single video, and it's dead true. We wouldn't be where we are today without you guys and without Dr. Coco. And uh, we just always want to make sure we remember that and give the grower love. Um, grower love to all the people that come every week and check in. We hope you leave a comment. We hope you check out our Photon Tech Light videos. And uh, we really appreciate the feedback. And, uh, yeah, grower love to everybody. And thanks again for coming by.